because why not? Okay, so we need a, let's see, half time is 34 seconds, so I'm gonna bump that up just a little bit. Okay, it says that the burn time, oh, I wonder if that burn time actually accounts for the secondary engi engine or, uh, okay, so you see how it says the burn time is one minute, 26 seconds, but this one says 48. Do any of you know if that number right there accounts for uh, separating the stage and using the secondary engine? I'm actually curious about that. If anyone knows, go ahead and let me know before I do the burn, preferably in the next 20 seconds. Uh, I'm going to quick save here before we do the burn uh, and see if any of you guys reply. I just want to make sure because that, let's see, what's the... Uh, that's a, actually a really powerful engine, so if anything, we shouldn't have too much of a difference, but um, I wonder if I should go off of that or not. Let's see. Well, we definitely won't ask greetings, White Guardian. We won't ask White, or we won't ask Rupert, because obviously he's only the pilot. What would he know? <laughs> so, hey, Naga, or I mean White Guardian... Quickly, this node burn time and this estimated burn time are different. Do you know if this number here uh, accounts for separating the stage? Rupert would just like... <laughs> yeah, he just wants to go full throttle all the time everywhere in space because there's no speed limit in space except for that thing Einstein kind of told us about. The Waluigi skin and I over use the meme... <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, we should probably be burning now since I'm not paying attention. Hopefully that doesn't mess up our encounter, but I think we should be okay. I love you. Uh, as soon as we're done with this burn, then I will switch the image up here to the one that you guys just sent me. But I need to make sure I get this burn. Here we go. You know what? It's a little off, so I'm actually going to quick, uh, quick load. Uh, there's an emblem on the helmet with it. So, hey, White Guardian, do you know how to use um, the texture replacer? Because I, I was looking on the Kerbal forums, um, and it looks like you have to... <laughs> Even the visor has a ghostly image of the meme. Oh, cool. I got to pause that because I'm... <laughs> White Guardian, do you know how to use texture replacer? I was looking at the Kerbal forums on it, and it looks like you actually have to go into the data files and copy and paste some stuff, and then you use the texture replacer. Okay, yeah, cool. That'll be perfect. I will definitely do that. So let's go ahead and start our burn here. <laughs> uh, I just want to say, Naga, thank you for creating a beautiful nightmare that we're actually going to have Waluigi piloting a ship. I don't know. I... I... Let's see. Um, cool, our burn looks actually pretty clean. I'm going to take the throttle down just a little bit uh, to space that out. Oh, we've got a lot of thrust. Why is the estimated burn... Okay, we're going to keep it about like that. The spacesuit becomes wathing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Save image as... Okay, if for some reason I destroy the stream trying to do this... Uh, I will be back, but I don't think it should destroy the stream, and uh, hopefully. Oh, it's a PNG, that's why. Okay. Um, yes, I am doing like four things at once. Uh, it might work. I'm checking my burn. Okay, I've got to increase the throttle a little bit. That should have saved. Let, okay, let's see if I can actually do this while uh, <laughs> while we are burning. Pictures. Uh, where is it? Where did it save it? Oh, crud! What happened? Yeah, that went pretty far. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little bit more complicated of a burn than I thought. I thought I'd just save that. Oh, dang it. Um, save image as, right? Pictures. Why? 
Why won't it show me a uh, PNG? Yeah, that uh, Waluigi you sent me. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get that Waluigi picture, but uh, it says that I can't find the PNG. Uh, I'm going to have to wait for this burn to see if I can't do it. Uh, meanwhile, I should probably pay attention to rockets. Uh, because goodness knows Rupert isn't. Uh, yep, Naga's back to panicking, probably because I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Okay, let's see what this little uh, disaster burn did to our um, maneuver. Let me... Uh, hey, we still actually have an encounter. That all looks really clean, despite the... Uh, Yes, and I get what you just said, by the way. Wah, Luigi. Uh. <laughs> yes, I totally get that. <laughs> Let's just get out of our... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. One. Okay, let me open my uh, communications and then feel free to tell us about your disaster. I just need to make sure that we don't lose communication and this turns into a big death trap. Let's hear about your nightmare of a day. Well, it's snowing here, and it was 80 degrees last week, so yeah, um, we kind of had a nightmare of a day, too, because nature hates us. Pika might know about that, except you live in St. George where it's just always hot. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was getting the... Change the pick. I'm trying, but uh, had to grab a train for... Okay, let me see if I... I keep trying to save this, but it's saving it as a PNG, and for some reason... It's not letting me pull up a PNG over on uh, OBS. Let me try this again really quick. <clears throat> Since we have a little bit of time, I'm trying to change it. I just don't know what's going on with this. Maybe I just, I've selected, uh, let's see, PNG. Yeah, I, it says PNG, hmm. Yeah, for some reason it's not saving it, right? Let me try this. Oh wait, Waluigi JPEG. No wait, that was uh That was the other one. Do you have a link to that that's not a PNG by chance? My train was five minutes late and waited for half to and then it still hadn't left. Then they told us why. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me see if I can't find that in a non-PNG. There's the Wario version of that. There's some other ones here. Yes, tell me, see if you can get a link to one that's not a PNG. Why, uh, what was wrong with your train? Appears there's a, <laughs> uh, fire near the train. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Um, everyone loves fires near the train. <laughs> Holy cow, that's awful. Did you really have... Did they say what the problem, what the cause of the fire was? That's nuts. Let's see if we can't get a slightly closer approach. I should probably focus on the view. Yeah, that's really... That doesn't sound fun at all. Had to take a train to Rotterdam, leaving two hours after. Was that uh, on your way to work and or school? Yeah, that almost sounds like it would be fun, except absolutely not fun at all. Ended up home at night. <laughs> hey, we have an encounter. Okay, university. Yeah, I, okay, so my, a lot of my family lives on the West Coast in California. Uh, and for those of you know, that know that um, California has, had to be, <laughs> uh, California has a, um, you know, quite a good network of trains that run along the coast that you can take. So I was taking the train from, uh, this was a few years ago, visiting my grandparents to go south to visit, uh, go back to my, so I was visiting my uncle, but I took a little detour um, a couple day trip to go see my grandpa uh, and the train was supposed to get in I want to say at um, too long today test tomorrow morning yeah no worries 
Uh, you just came with the good news of Waluigi, and that's really uh, all we needed. <sighs> good night. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Hopefully you uh, in do well on that. So I'm going to put these at one. So anyway, the story, I was supposed to get in, I want to say at like five-ish. Uh on the tr oh on the train um it was a like a, a five hour train ride and i was supposed to get in um about i want to say four or five ish well the train was late to begin with i didn't end up getting in until 1 30 in the morning so it was seven and a half hours late if you add in when it was supposed to get to the station plus the delays uh on the way there it was seven and a half hours late so that's my train waiting story it was it was a blast. I loved that. Oh, wait. Was that uh, Kevin? No. Hey, so, yeah, Kevin was the super, super tiny... Yeah, well, mine wasn't because it was on fire. Uh, Kevin is the super tiny mo moon, and that's weird that it actually shows an encounter, even though I couldn't find it. I had to undergo surgery once. My appointment was at noon. This already sounds like it's starting off well. Oh, hey, where'd we go? Problem is, you have to be sore. <laughs> yeah. You can't have anything in your system, usually. Look at that, we're getting uh, an encounter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think it's time to take these to point one. But then the hospital, <laughs> there's a huge delay. How close are we there? Finally, it was my turn at 6 p.m. So you had to go that whole time without food? <laughs> well, yeah, and usually you start the night before, too. So it's not just that day. It's, you know, the whole the whole night and the whole day of it. That would... <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound uh, all that fun. So which maneuver, which node do I need to adjust here to get that a little bit closer? That's actually getting pretty, pretty clean there, I want to say. Yes, I know it is angled a little bit, but that's... Uh, we can worry about that another day. So it's pretty much... Thankfully, I was too tired to be grumpy. <laughs> yeah, then they give you all the medicine, and everything was fine. We'll be able to clean that up uh, pretty well. Is that uh, safe, uh, uh, safe periaps there? They had to get me out of the hospital by wheelchair. Hey, we're actually maneuvering pretty well. We're actually spinning. The Douglas can turn. Oh, Naga's back to panicking again. Everyone watch out. Naga's panicking. <laughs> I couldn't walk for days. Yikes. Yeah, I've only had to have one uh, real surgery, and luckily everything went according to plan. I have no uh, everything exploded uh, terrible stories, luckily. We're heading out for our burn. Yeah, Rupert, uh, you keep scaring Naga, by the way. Yeah, Naga's the only one that's uh, uh, having panic attacks. Oh, hey, Ketchup. Ketchup's not doing too well either. Yeah, I think Jeb forgot to stash the, the chocolate pudding before they left. <laughs> yeah, you've been out in space for about a week. No, actually, it's been 56 days since we're about to do the burn, and just now you realize that you're scared of space. So when you're scared of space, is that claustrophobia or uh, being scared of open spaces? Because you're claustrophobic in your spacecraft, but you're scared of open spaces because uh, open spaces don't get much more sp much spacier than space. You know what? Maybe we ought to have Naga do uh, an EVA just to be safe. That might help, right? Uh, let's see. You know what? Um, I just thought of something that I dare say might be... Uh, you're scared of being killed by vacuum. Well, that's like cats when you run the vacuum. Same problem, right? We're going to hit, go ahead and set our maneuver which is probably going to take a lot of Delta V. 
Yep, lots of Delta V. Hey, at least it's not 4,000 like it was uh, at Errol. That was a little ridiculous. Oh, gotta go. Okay. Well, uh, I guess that means the fate of Naga is in uh, Rupert's hand. So, yeah, we'll have to see. But yeah, thanks for coming, even though, uh, even just for a short little bit. Uh, I will see you sometime next week. I wanted to do this stream because I'm not going to have a chance the rest of the week with the uh, funeral and everything. <laughs> Wait, before you go, uh, we need this. Where, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Now you can go. So I should point out, uh, actually ask, have any of you guys used this Rodan pod before by chance? Because I'm actually a little concerned about something. <laughs> Double fish. So yeah, have any of you guys uh, used this before? Oh wait, I wonder. Uh, I wonder actually. Because I have sort of a, a problem that I just realized. <laughs> I, need, I need to see if you guys have ever used this before. Okay, we've got plenty of antennae, antennae, antenna. So we shouldn't run out of communic or we shouldn't have any communications issues. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our encounter. So yeah, I'm actually excited to see what uh, Valkner looks like up close. But I am a little worried about something, and I don't think any of you guys have used that Rodan pod. Yeah, which makes me even more concerned. I do have an idea on a way to test it. And once we get into orbit around uh, um, Valkner, I'm going to test it. But of course, I'm going to wait until we're past the point of no return when uh, Naga can't really escape and go home. Oh, he is the only one that's having a crisis here, isn't he? <laughs> yep, Naga's really not too pleased with this. <clears throat> so... I'll mention what the problem is as we wait to uh, do our uh, insertion burn. And that would be that I played around with this pod the other day on my own just to see what it was. And it, I couldn't get the Kerbal back inside. I did, Oh, I should mention I did an EVA. It wasn't on the ground or anything. I did an EVA. And for some reason, they could not re-enter the pod. So my... <laughs> I, you might be thinking to yourselves, loyal viewers at home, you might be thinking um, that why don't I just couple onto the side and just do transfer, uh, you know, just do the right click transfer crew. Well, uh, to save weight and uh, simplify this, the clamp, the clampotron, the docking port is on the fuel tank that will be jettisoned, which means when we come back, all we're going to have is this little guy right here with no docking port. So I was planning on just doing the Russian style um, EVA to transfer pods like they originally planned with their uh, their moon program. But then I just, just now remembered that I have never successfully returned somebody from an EVA into one of these pods. So as of now, uh, disaster is looming on the horizon, but until then, we are just going to march forward uh, optimistically that magically it's going to fix itself. And we're about to our burn. I'm going to quick save here in case I overshoot it. So yeah, uh, there's a potential that we only <laughs> we get to play the uh, only one gets to come home game and pick which one of our Kerbals <laughs> is the lucky survivor of this trip. But we'll cross that uh, space bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Yeah, let's hope that we don't have to pick which one to kill, but that, or I mean, which one to save. Uh, but yeah, that might be the game we play, is pick a Kerbal to save. And I, I think maybe that's, why, maybe that's why Naga's been having a panic attack this whole time. He knows the problems that, uh, the inherent flaw in the ship, is he knows that only one person gets to come home. Because ideally, I would like to make this a return trip where I actually do something right. Uh, let's see, Delta V, hold on a sec, I just got to check my Delta V here. Yeah, I'm going to be, I should be okay. Um, I would imagine, separate, nope, that's not what I want to start. That guy. 
So let me go ahead and just make sure my staging is right, do a quick save. I'm sure Rupert would volunteer to do whatever you need him to do. <laughs> yeah, we could just tell him, hey, Rupert, why don't you go down and see what's on the planet? And then they can hurry and turn around uh, without telling him that uh, wouldn't take much convincing. <laughs> yeah, all you really need to do is say, hey, Rupert, I'll trade you a pudding cup uh, for the seat on the ship. Rupert's all gung-ho. He's, uh, he's definitely going to do it. Okay, well, we've decided that since Rupert would agree to anything, he is one... He's one that we're going to sacrifice if necessary, but uh, that still leaves a few others who who need to draw straws. Uh, and I'm not sure, especially since Naga left, uh, I don't know if we can I don't know if we can uh, safely sacrifice his. On the other hand, he did leave, so his Kerbal is a uh, fair game, I would imagine, right? You know, hey, that if you leave the stream, your Kerbal's uh, <laughs> you know, your Kerbal's fate's up in the air. There's only a, a marginal promise of safety when uh, you're around. Beyond that, no promises your Kerbal's going to return. Okay, five hours. We're getting close. Yes, I probably should have set an alarm for this. If you can't get... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Naga and Rupert are going to be stranded in space. Uh, that still means we need to decide out of Toaster, Ketchup, and Reggie who's going to make the trip home. Yeah, no input, uh, no return home. That's, I guess that's only fair. Are we, where's uh, Valkner? I should probably be able to see it here soon, right? Let me know if you guys spot a giant blue planet anywhere. Hello, blue planet. <clears throat> um, oh, there it is. There we are, we're coming up to it. Let's see, how would, would I just be able to set an alarm there? <clears throat> how do I set an alarm for my maneuver? Uh, Kerbal alarm. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Add new alarm. Um, the Douglas. Uh, let's see. I, you know, I've never actually used this more than uh, doing it in the map, map mode, I should say. <clears throat> so let's see, how do we actually do this? Alarm, uh, do nothing. Let's see. Pause game, no. Kill warp, yes. Uh, margin. Kerbal engineering, node margin, half burn. Uh, enough time. So that's year four, day 136. Is that in three hours? Is that what our maneuver is? Three hours, 28? Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, hey, there we go. Um, I'm going to quick save just to make sure I don't botch the whole thing. And then let's warp. Why not do things the easy way? I mean, if we're going to kill all of them anyway, we might as well let them do it in comfort. Speaking of which, somebody Q taps uh, the link to the to tap since uh, inevitably we are going to be having some problems with uh, returning people safely. So we need <clears throat> node burn time, five minutes. So does that, I think that's going to account for our dropping the state. Now that, hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and start burning and see what happens. I love that engine, by the way, the way it looks. Yeah, I mean, even if I'm not super precise on this, we're still going to drop out of orbit. Let's see. Node in, burn time. Yeah, I think we're actually going to do pretty well, and I'll be able to jettison those tanks. So, yeah, for a minute we can sit back and relax knowing that things aren't going terribly wrong. As soon, like I said, as soon as I circularize this, I'm going to test to see if we can actually get somebody in and out of the pod. But like I said, uh, one-way trip, that hatch. At least as far as I've seen. Whoa! What just exploded? Oh, I know. Um, aerodynamic shroud, separation of stage nut. Let's see. Uh, yeah, did anybody see what? Oh, it destroyed some of the engines. Uh, we're just going to go like this and pretend that didn't happen. Because I did quick save before our burn. Did I accidentally have something staged? Oh, it was those. The nose cones shot up. 
Yeah, we're just going to ditch those because we don't need those. It was the nose cones. Apparently those are uh, ejectable nose cones. So yes, that's fixed. <laughs> we're going to say we will not be shooting nose cones directly into our solar panels and rockets. For those of you who want to go to space at home, uh, I would avoid shooting things into your rocket engines. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I forgot to get the flash thing up again. Let's see. Okay, uh, just to be safe, everyone just click on this just to be safe. That will make everything all right. There you go, problem solved. Okay, good separation this time. No catastrophic explosions. There wasn't the last time. These are not the droids you seek, right? Delta V, 400 meters per second. It might not be too efficient, but darn if I don't like the way that thing looks. Yeah, I think that has one of the cooler uh, flame effects in this. Okay, let's see what you sent us a link to. The longer version. <laughs> yes, nothing happened. Everything is safe. Um, yeah, look, it even worked. Uh, Naga's still... Naga's happy again, so it must have worked. You know if Naga's smiling that everything is fine. Naga is what we like to call the uh, stress barometer. He's super sensitive to it. Okay, we're going to jettison that stage. And now our... Yep, that was a planned explosion, by the way. This little guy... Ho, oh, oh, eight-minute burn. Yeah, I'm glad I started early. And if I remember correctly, this was our return stage. So we've actually burnt more Delta V, or we've burned uh, more fuel than I hoped for. Uh, but we're just going to pretend that this is still going to work because optimism. Uh, yeah, no promises. This is what happens when you uh, go to a new planet for the first time, by the way, is it's, you know, seat of the pants rocketry. Speaking of which, where's our uh, destination? Did I lose the planet again? Hey, there it is. Giant giant thing in the rearview mirror. <laughs> nope. <laughs> He's the only one lacking... Oh, no. Ketchup's a little nervous again. Ketchup and uh, Naga seem to be the ones with the most issues. Uh, Rupert actually looks like he's completely lost it. Yeah, Rupert... Uh, his mind just... Uh, actually, I'll show you what uh, what's up with Rupert. Let's see. Let me see if I can find a good one. Um, hopefully this works. Dang it, that's not a good one. Oh man. Nope, I'm not gonna, f wait, that might, no, that's still too long. Uh, well, this is funny, but it's not quite, uh, nope. Somebody do, Rupert Viner, <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody feel free to do a mind-blown, uh, meme link. But yeah, uh, Rupert has just lost every shred of spaghetti that was holding his brain together. Uh, he's just completely lost it. I mean, even his eyes even look like they're going the wrong way. Look at that. He's not even looking the right direction. <laughs> So is that what stupidity does? The stupidity slider slowly makes your eyes point outward? <laughs> Look at him. He's actually not even looking straight. I'm going to do cockpit view on this one. There's Naga. Let's see. Yep, there's uh, Rupert just, you know, staring off into to nothing. Let's see. What's he looking at there? <laughs> Yeah, okay, here we go. 
Uh, I think White Guardians got what we were looking for. <laughs> yeah, everyone uh, click that link. That is definitely, definitely... Uh, that's Rupert right now, by the way. <laughs> yes, uh, couldn't be more appropriate. That... That's our goodbye. <laughs> well, uh, Pika, I must say you uh, craft a lovely Kerbal. Meanwhile, Naga's still having his crisis. It's been... What's our flight time? One year, 150 days, and Naga still hasn't come to terms with his fate. You think somebody would have brought a, a book, like a mental health book or something. 18, got it. Well, hopefully the catastrophe begins before then can't really thrust faster than we're going, and I don't think I can time warp under acceleration. So you have to wait at least uh, 750 more meters per second and then the circularization, because there it is right there. The giant blueberry. It's no boss, it's no space boss, but you know, there it is. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, back in Naga's seat, I like how there's a bar in front of ketchup. Actually, I know. Let's uh, let's get the nice view of them having a, a panic attack. <laughs> Every time something uh, falls off or rattles, uh, Naga has a trouser accident. Explosion. Yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much uh, Rupert's soundtrack right now. <laughs> I'm in space? Cue sound effect. Yep. <laughs> that's uh, pretty much Rupert when he realized he was in space. <laughs> oh, snap. Are we about to run out of fuel? I thought we had enough Delta V. Um, we didn't even circularize. Okay. Uh, apparently, Mech Jeb's been lying to me. Uh, we have to get creative with how we are going to land this thing. Okay. So we don't have enough Delta V. This whole trip might be doomed. <laughs> this was supposed to be our return trip, I should mention. Uh, uh, so who thinks we cannibalize our descent stage? Well, doesn't matter who thinks that because we kind of have to. Uh, let's see, make sure I'm lighting all the right engines here. Yeah, that's our descent stage. I'm going to... <laughs> well, of course Rupert says do it. His mind uh, is about, I don't know, 100 million kilometers behind us. Okay, cannibalizing descent stage to make sure we don't shoot past... Uh, the planet. I never intended these to have a lot of fuel, by the way. <laughs> Only used two. No, I, uh, oh, um, apparently I forgot to turn one of them on because I don't know reasons. Yeah, we should actually probably figure out which one that is. <laughs> Oh, well, there's your... No, wait, is that... Why, uh... Nope, that's not it. Why did we not get... Yeah, this is a, a bit confusing. Am I missing... No, because that's not it right there. Am I missing a an engine array? <laughs> no, because uh, none of these have um, fuel lines feeding a special tank, so... Even if I use... Um, Two, I don't think I would still need to use the rest. Okay, we have Houston. We've lost an engine. What on earth is okay? What on Kerbin is going on? Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to. Let me actually kill the thrust so that I don't have. Wait, it says it's on. Oh, it must be pulling fuel from somewhere. That's really weird. Yeah, they're on. They just don't have fuel because. Kerbal, I guess. I gotta say, that's one of the weirdest looking ships I've ever seen, by the way. 
Oh, we're just maybe barely going to have enough Delta V. Let's see if we even got into orbit. Hey, we're in orbit. Yeah, this is going well. And by well, I mean not well at all. But yes, good idea, White Guardian. Um, okay. Let's make sure I'm jettisoning, jettisoning the right thing. So long, engines. Oh, snap. That's not what I meant to do at all. Wow, I actually did the exact opposite <laughs> mission st Please don't give us a mission status update. <laughs> Whoopsies. That wasn't my clarinet. <laughs> uh, how long ago did I quick save? I think it wasn't too long. For some reason, my staging, which was A-OK, -okay, was not A-OK. -okay. Oh, okay, good. Um, did these run out of fuel? I have not activated these yet, have I? So that's empty, so we need to activate these. I think we are still good. Why are we not facing the maneuver node? We should just be, I'm gonna ditch that. We should be retrograde. Let's see how close we are. Um, just a sec here, I'm gonna do some careful figuring. And by careful figuring, I mean, Valkner set his target. Okay, so now we're going to have point retrograde because I don't know what's going on. Uh, I've completely lost it. Uh, Rupert was right all along. Uh, so here's what happens when Rupert's right. Okay, so we're gonna activate our engines and not explode things. Now we're going to throttle up and this should, should work. We should slowly be, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think the fish is only for celebrate. Yes, we're doing the right thing right now. <laughs> Hurry, throw all the fish out of the, uh, the cock or the, uh, the cabin or the command pod. That will help things. So what was wrong with my staging here? I think there's some sort of catastrophic problem with my staging. That all looks good, though. I don't see why everything's separated. Oh, I know what it is. Wow, I'm... I'm uh, amazing. Uh, see that? I accidentally put the nodes on this stage when they should have been up here. So I need to not jettison those. <laughs> yeah, so forecast. Uh, lots of death. Everyone dying. But we are gonna get into orbit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. oh. Yep, this has gone so well. You know, and I even spent like 45 minutes last night building this whole, uh, building the Douglas. Curse you, the Douglas, you have foiled us. Uh, the Douglas was actually possessed by the Kraken and everything is going to explode and die. Yeah, I'm gonna move that one up. I'm just making sure uh, it's the right one. So let me move that up. I'm gonna quick save and let's... Jeb's done that, yep. Jeb ac accidentally installed Kraken software in the uh, engineering department's computer. <laughs> yeah, you, it's, it's a success because we've made it this far. Uh, let's see. So plan, we've passed pan, plan B and C. You know what? I know that this command pod actually has some fuel. So let's active, oh no, let's shut down those engines. Uh, let's shut down all of these because I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, this command pod actually has a thousand meters per second of Delta V, but I don't know where that comes from. When I, uh, Saying I was testing it, I gave up after realizing I couldn't get a Kerbal back inside. But you'll notice it has an engine. Oh, it's a monoprop engine, uh, I think. So why don't we go ahead and see what happens. I don't know where that's going. Can you guys hear the thrust? It's doing something. I don't know what's on, but it's going somewhere. <laughs> Let's make sure we don't get too tight. 
So yeah, apparently I am using fuel that is coming out of magic thrusters. Because magic. We might actually salvage this after. We're not going to salvage this. Rupert, buddy, uh, I think Naga was right all along. I'm going to try and get this bad boy really, really tight. I'm going to get it sub 100. <laughs> yeah, they might be... I don't know where... And why was it suddenly increasing? Let's take a look and see if they're on fire. Crew report? Mm, I don't see anyone with marshmallows, so I would imagine that... Uh, Oh, we're running really low. I don't imagine that uh, it was inside because nobody brought marshmallows. And it seems like they would have brought marshmallows. Okay, let's go ahead and set an alarm clock. What have we here? <laughs> Whoopsies. That wasn't my clarinet. <laughs> you mean, uh, whoopsies. That wasn't the right thruster. Okay, let's add one. The Douglas. Uh... Kill warp. Uh, what am I doing? Um, okay, let's go ahead and create a maneuver and then we'll kill the warp. Why are we not focusing on the Douglas? What's going on? Yeah, we're way off. And we even lost it as a target. Okay, um, I'm doing really well. This voyage has been crew report. Uh, Catastrophic death imminent. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm. <laughs> Let's. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we're not going to do that. Outermost planet. Focus view. Then tab. I'm afraid I have a case of the uh, Nagas. Okay, now we can set a maneuver that's not actually going to be a maneuver. Um, I'm just going to do that, and then we are going to do kill warp. Okay, uh, make this alarm. Can't I? Oh, here we go. Maneuver node. The Douglas. Uh, kill warp. Okay, add alarm. Good. Let's warp. Quick save before we warp. And make sure the alarm works. Brilliant. Look, technology works occasionally. I like how the only things that actually work are the things we don't really need that just make time go faster. You know, the whole rocket part, that doesn't work. Uh, but the timer, uh, the alarm clock they brought, that's, that's brilliant. That works. How much Delta V do we have left in this uh, stage? I don't even know what stage we want to call it. <clears throat> We're just going to burn here in a moment. Close our alarm clock. I hope somebody has uh, taps <clears throat> on cue for when this doesn't work. It is a pretty planet, I'll say that. It's a good place for everyone to die. At least, I guess. Okay, here we go. Our not enough Delta, or our not enough Delta V to do anything proper. Yeah, where are those thrusters? I don't even see them activating. They should be right there, shouldn't they? Oh well, when we don't have enough fuel, it doesn't really matter. Well, keep in mind, we still need to get back home. That's supposed to be to get down and up. This was supposed to be to get us home and we don't even have enough there. That 2400 is uh, contained in those. Let's see how close we got. Okay, uh, it's time to quick save and start sending people down to the surface because why not? Who did we decide is going to live? They're all going to die. But who did we decide is going to actually kind of stay on board? So Naga and Rupert are gone. Transfer crew. Um, Rupert, buddy, you're over there. Just leave it on the surface as a base and, uh, and save fuel for the rescue. We could do that. Transfer crew. Naga, you're going to because, you know, 
Who is next? We need one person to stay. Who votes? Okay, cast your votes to uh, see who stays in the pod and doesn't go down to die. Now taking votes for the survivor. And adjusting my glasses because ear pain. Take ketchup too. If they have to resort to cannibalism, yeah, he'd probably taste the best. Uh, transfer. Oh, so White Guardian says keep ketchup and Pika says send ketchup. Well, you guys are going to have to fight that one out. Um, I think toaster should go because if you're going to cannibalize, you need toaster and ketchup. So is Reggie the one that stays, I guess? So make sure, yeah. It sounds like Reggie's the only one that stays. <laughs> Just because we need food-based kerbals on the surface in case somebody gets hungry. Jeb's not around, but we do need the most food-based kerbals. So let's separate these one at a time. Let's see who's going first. Looks like... <laughs> well, I, I didn't plan that, but it looks like Rupert just happens to be... <laughs> the guy going. In case everyone's wondering what happens if you don't want some ketchup. <laughs> Sans uh, much more appreciates it. <laughs> yep, uh, they're going to be drinking ketchup. Let's turn our RCS on and just kind of nudge ourselves away here. Maybe. Um, thought we had our RCS on. My cl Did I click on the wrong ship? Control from here. Am I not on uh, Rupert's ship? Okay. <clears throat> the Douglas. The Rupert turns it on. 